What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Earlier this week, Expansive Worlds announced that we will be seeing some new and exciting content later this year. I feel like it's safe to say that we could be expecting some new clues towards a new map in the near future in the Hunter Call of the Wild. It's been about five months since T. Aurora released, and knowing that we typically see a couple new maps every year, I think it's safe to speculate that we could be in for a new map very soon. In this video, I'll touch on what I would like to see in the next map, as well as go over my top five picks regarding a location on the globe as well as what species we could expect in those places. So without further ado, let's get into it. basically what I want to do in this video you guys is kind of touch on what I would like to see as far as the next map in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I've narrowed it down to my top five picks. There are obviously a lot of places on the globe that would work really really well as a map in the Hunter Call of the Wild. There's some awesome potential but I've narrowed it down to my top five and I'm going to go over all five of those and we'll talk about species, we'll talk about terrain, environments, things like that as well. The first place I want to talk about and I know a lot of you guys agree, a lot of you guys have been talking about this particular place in the world in the streams and in the comments sections in the videos uh, the first place would be Greenland most of the hunting in Greenland happens in the northern and eastern regions and there are just so many potential awesome species that could be on a Greenland map we're talking about muskox reindeer arctic fox arctic hare polar bears uh, snow geese and pink footed geese we could have another goose map uh, king eider are a really cool species of duck Greenland is loaded with waterfowl so we could be seeing stuff like uh, another map for harlequin ducks uh, razor bills, red throated loons, just a lot of really, really cool waterfowl species in Greenland. And uh, yeah, muskox, how cool would muskox be in the Hunter Call of the Wild? And yeah, second map for reindeer and or caribou. But yeah, when I think about the next map in the Hunter Call of the Wild, Greenland is definitely one of my top five. It just has huge potential to be just an awesome map in the Hunter Call of the Wild for so many different reasons. Moving on to number two, another pick for me is another Africa map. Africa is just such an obvious pick. There are so many species in Africa that it would be a shame if we didn't get a second Africa map. I don't know if they would be doing that next before introducing some of these other locations, but uh, I would not be disappointed if they did. And we're talking about uh, leopards, um, hyenas, spotted hyenas are in Africa. That could be an amazing predator species in Call of the Wild. I've been saying that for a long time. I would love to see hyenas in the Hunter Call of the Wild as predator species. Uh, the possibility of elephants, I don't know if that is something that we'll see in Hunter Call of the Wild. Um, I understand both sides of the argument there. Impalas. The impala is one of the most common and graceful of all Africa's antelopes. Impalas are such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful antelope species in Africa. Um, they run extremely fast. They're very graceful, very agile species. I think they can run up to like 70 kilometers an hour. Um, crocodiles. Would love to see crocodiles in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Hartebeest. Another beautiful antelope species in Africa. One of the fastest antelopes in the world. They run up to like 45 miles per hour or something like that to escape predators they are a super super cool species of animal we've got elands zebras sable antelope water buck nyala nyala are a really really incredible species they're actually uh the slowest antelope in africa um they run up to something like 40 kilometers per hour but they can also jump like 10 feet from a standing start which is really cool they're a really really cool animal um greater kudu a lot of people want to see greater kudu i am one of those people we definitely need greater kudu in an africa 2.0 map uh rowan antelope is another antelope species so Africa is just uh, just absolutely loaded with different species. I do hope that we are going to see a second Africa map. Another big one for me is Australia. Now, obviously, the last map was New Zealand, so I don't know if they would go that route for the next map. Maybe we're going to see something else before we see Australia. But if we do see Australia as the next map, we're talking about sandbar deer. I really wanted to see sandbar deer in Te Aoroa. We didn't get sandbar deer, unfortunately, but sandbar deer could be in an Australia map. They are in Australia. Sandbar are an incredible, incredible species species of deer. They are Australia's largest feral deer species. The males can grow up to like 2.5 meters long. That's like eight feet long and they can weigh up to 300 kilograms, which is just crazy. Just an absolutely massive, massive deer. Uh, red deer. I don't know if they would want to do red deer in a fifth map, but they could if they wanted to. Red deer are in Australia. Uh, we're talking about fallow deer. Uh, Rusa deer would be amazing to have in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Axis deer. This could be a second axis deer map. Uh, Wapiti, otherwise known as elk, are also in Australia. That could be a very cool possibility as well. Kangaroos, Tasmanian devils, crocodiles. Again, that could be another possibility in Australia. Wombats, dingoes, emus. I think they have ostriches in Australia. Some really cool possibilities for an Australian map in the Hunter Call of the Wild. 
Now, probably my top pick for the next map, if I had to pick one out of these five, I think it would have to be Sweden. Sweden is just kind of the quintessential perfect Call of the Wild map. If you think about the terrain, the environment, uh, as well as some of the species in Sweden, I just feel like it would be, if I had to pick one for the next map, I think it would have to be Sweden. And I just picture it being such an amazing thing in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Now, there are more moose per square kilometer living in Sweden than any other country in the world. There are tons of moose in Sweden, but what is really, really interesting is Sweden have the white moose, which is different from an albino moose. White moose are a rare genetic variant of the moose, otherwise known as the Eurasian elk in Sweden, and they have white fur. They carry a genetic mutation that gives them white coats. It's the same genetic mutation that gives humans red hair, for instance. There are only about a hundred of the white moose known in existence, which is crazy. I mean, we're talking about the potential for like a great one type of thing here. You could have albino moose, but you could also have white moose. Maybe they would look a little bit different different. You know, you find what you think is an albino and then you're like, oh my gosh, that could be the white moose. Like how, how crazy would that be? That I think that would just be so cool. It could add a really, really cool element to a Swedish map to, to have the possibility of finding the, the elusive white moose. I mean, how cool would that be to hunt in a place where you could find the, uh, the incredible white moose that, uh, that do exist in Sweden. Um, the white moose are found almost exclusively in the boreal forests of Varmland. I don't know if I'm saying that properly in the borderlands between Sweden and Norway. So super cool, super cool possibility there to have white moose in a Swedish map in Hunter Call of the Wild. And then we're talking Arctic Fox, Scandinavian Wolves, Lynx. We could have a second map for Lynx in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Reindeer again, Brown Bear, Black Rouse, Beavers. We could have Beavers in a, in a Swedish map and get our revenge as we, we've been wanting to for so long. And then Red Squirrels. A lot of people want to see squirrels in the Hunter Call of the Wild. And Red Squirrels are beautiful. They look really cool. They're basically the same color as like a red fox. They're like that burnt orange dark orange color they're a super cool species of squirrels and uh, yeah I just think Sweden would just be so cool in the hunter call of the wild and then my last pick in my top five has to be Texas um, the reason for that is we all want a second whitetail map and I have racked my brain over all the possibilities there are a ton of possibilities for a second map with whitetail but my favorite I would have to say has got to be Texas and some of the reasons for that are well Texas Longhorn Texas Longhorn are incredible their horns can go up to like a seven foot spread from tip to tip uh, which is incredible. They are just a, a, a stunning species of animal that I think would just be super beautiful in the Hunter Call of the Wild. They also have different fur types, gray, black, yellow, some really cool uh, potential for different common fur types with the Texas Longhorn. And then we're talking black bear, white tail, right? Axis deer, we could have a second axis deer map. Again, Sika deer, we could have another map with Sika deer. Fallow deer, black bellied whistling ducks are really cool, really cool uh, possibility for some waterfowl there. Really cool ducks, the whistling ducks. Uh, feral hogs, we could have a second map for feral pigs, which would be really cool. Owdad, also known as Barbary sheep. We could have a map with uh, a new sheep species. That would work really cool. Black buck. We could have a second map for black buck, which would be amazing. Uh, Nilgai antelope, Russian boars, emus, ostriches. Texas would work, I think, really well in the Hunter Call of the Wild. And there's just a massive wealth of animals and animal species in Texas. And just some really cool terrain and really unique environments that we haven't really seen in the Hunter Call of the Wild before. I think Texas would be a really good choice for the next map the Hunter Call of the Wild. So that's my top five, you guys. Uh, Greenland, Africa, Australia, Sweden, Texas. There are obviously some other awesome potential spots in the world, but that's what I've narrowed it down to for myself. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of that. Let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see in the next map in the Hunter Call of the Wild as far as locations, but also species. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. I would love your feedback. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. I'm streaming every single day. Tons of the Hunter Call of the Wild content coming for you guys as well as some other games feel free to join the discord the link is down below in the description we're going on a thousand people in that community would love for you guys to join up and become part of the kc family thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next one